All right, guys. After that six and a half hour podcast, taking a slight break from the live streaming. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Just, yeah, six and a half hour live stream. I won't be live streaming tonight anyways. But I do have DSP stuff to talk about. Because we had something huge happen today. He got $1,800 from one guy. King Tut. King Tut. Old song. Look it up. Are you taking this, you as, taking a this as a BS? Oh, hey, nope. Wrong. <laughs> Professional here. There it is. Going from Laughing Archives. Let's look at some random guy named Tuck King blah blah blah. It's King Tut. Is even feel hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in cheers a day for no reason. That's really beyond sickening. He's gonna regret the decision. Down the drain. There's something fishy about this. I bet anything it was stolen credit card. Ah Perhaps. Or left, it was his cat trying to get other pay pigs out better to make more money. Didn't happen. In fact, uh, Queen Swaggins stormed off. Queen Swaggins was so pissed that this person spent more in one stream than Swaggins does in a, the entire year. And so he just left. He said, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. Hey, here it is. Rando guy gave Phil more bits than Swaggins has all year in just one day. Gets pissed and leaves. And he left her, but then he came back because he's Swaggins. He can't stay away from his daddy. What do you want to call Phil? I don't know what it, what is Phil to him. Like he does nothing but just suck on his balls all day, and yet he gets shit on every time. Guy finally speaks and asks for a free shirt after giving almost two k. Phil says he doesn't have anything to give him. You ordered a bunch of Teespring shirts of your shit. You could have sent him one of those. These guys that stream video gaming like DSP probably never rewatched their own streams because you would think that if they did, they might get a clue about how stupid they look. Can't believe somebody would give him two grand. Wish I had money like that to just throw away, shake my head. Greed is massively strong, dude. <laughs> Project Life, anyone? Let's see, is there anything important here? Oh, yeah. Send the empty 4K TV box signed. But the shipping would be quite high due to the TV size, so Phil probably wouldn't send it unless the Tips an extra two hundred dollars, so son of an empty PS4 Pro box signed with signed business card. <laughs> Pretty much what he would do because he is famous. No joke, I've showed the video before of giving away empty game boxes. He literally gave away empty game boxes. Not a joke. We'll only send the guy a shirt for free if he waits two months. If he because. That's about how long it takes for the bits to go through. Because he doesn't trust the guy and thinks the bits could be fake. Oh, we're getting there. Conspiracy theory time. It says asking for something free after giving 2k makes him suspicious. Of course, so simple. Wait, no, it's not. It's needlessly complicated. Yes, I am paranoid about this. People troll me all the time. They're constant dicks to me. Oh, please, we don't troll. You fall for the trolls. Yeah, we just talk about the stupid shit you say and do. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we got a nervous Nelly here. Oh, him bitching about the pre-stream length. Fucking hilarious. It's not valid, Chris, unless you actually just something better. How about spending less time bitching and begging for money? There you go. There's valid criticism. Yeah, there's no video game. It's pre-stream because he likes to do... No, no, my plugs were only about 15 minutes. Pre-stream was over in 15 minutes. The other hour and a half I spend whining and crying and begging, that's not pre-stream. Guess what? If there's no video game playing, it's pre-stream. Alright, went over that. Cheers died down. Make sure to mention how he's suspicious of the guy being a troll again. Might send an autograph shirt for that 1800 he got in two months. Again, he's going to have to wait two months for it to go through. Why is no one giving them this much fucking money? Oh, there he goes. Give him one of those statues he's been trying to get rid of. <laughs> oh, another 40k bit. Holy shit, so that's... Holy fuckballs. What? Yeah, most likely credit card fraud. But wait, because yeah, we're getting there. According to the farm, the account was made today and tipped the same amount to another streamer. I guess stolen... Yeah. Kiwi Farms. That's the, when they say farm, they mean Kiwi Farms. This is to be a fan of mine. He knows I play SFV, dude. Has to be a fan of mine. He didn't start playing until like two days ago. 
God damn. So yeah, so far it's twenty two hundred dollars. I thought it was eighteen. It's twenty two hundred dollars. Holy fuck balls! I must miss. Well, I've been busy all day and all that, so I'm trying to keep track of it on my Twitter. But damn. Oh yeah, and he's like, oh yeah. Uh, the reason he mentions the Street Fighter Five thing is, hey, if you play Street Fighter Five tonight, I'll give you more money. But doesn't even give the Tuck guy a shout out on Twitter and acts like his schedule change is his choice. It's come as a surprise. It's Clay Bait. Stranger no one has seen before. It comes to get him and gives him the money. He apparently needs a return for some bizarre request. This experiment to expose him. Maybe. We're waiting to see. But, oh, hey. This must not read the Twitch rules very often. Phil, reading rules? Let's bring that up. Now, the don'ts that constitute violations of this policy. Don't solicit bits in exchange for money or donations. And don't request money or donations for bits. Don't provide items like a t-shirt or specific services like playing a certain video game when you weren't planning on playing it that are associated with the monetary value in exchange for bits. Offering Hurdy a subscription to your channel, a dinner date, graphic design services, promise to play a specific user in a game, access to a specific VOD file, cooking lessons, or engage in a private conversation in exchange for bits. So yeah, both of these cover what just happened. Yeah. But, you know, it's DSP. He, he doesn't read the rules. Bits got DSP suspended the first time. They'll get suspended again. Wanted to give the guy an autographed shirt for the bits he gave and play a specific game for more bits. But when Twitch takes a hundred dollar cut of all those offensive bits, they won't give a fuck. Pretty much. And also I stated, if he deletes the videos afterwards, even if he uploads it onto YouTube, doesn't count. Tune to current stream, going on and on about how that guy could be a troll, doesn't really care if it's stolen credit card. That's like DSP has a moral compass. Which, we all know, he has no morals. Uh, fuck. No, it doesn't. Super Turbo does not require a ton of knowledge in order to play it. Some, maybe. Ton, no. You can't just pick up the game and be a pro at it. But you can pick it up and play, and after a few rounds, get to know. Especially if you play the same character. Play the same character every time, you'll start to learn their moves. And their reach, their range. How the block better. Like, you'll learn it if you play the same character a bunch. But it doesn't require tons of knowledge. Just trying to make himself feel better. Oh, wait. Got to... Oh, hey. Oh, here we go. The big reveal. Tut got his Amazon account locked. Which is how he was buying bits. Phil sounded so disappointed since that is the guy that promised tons of bits for SFV. So, yep. He played SFV like the guy requested. But the guy got banned. There are so many other ways to give money to Phil. I'm sure the diehard fan will find another way within five minutes. If he really is a diehard fan. Oh, we're getting to the conspiracy theory. Don't worry. Amazon logging an account that spent money on Amazon's subsidiary. Yeah, it doesn't sound like fraudulent at all. Well, not Amazon. A friend of mine got the Subway Rewards account locked. The food joint. Because they used the card too much in a 72 hour period. Trust me, shit like this can't happen. Especially if you're doing it too often. That's why there are ad limits for free bits too. Hilarious, a new account who's never been in Phil's stream just throws 2,000 like it's nothing. It's a massive red flag, and I don't think even Phil's naive enough to think that it came with no strings attached. So the account's locked. That means Phil's gets nada. We don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, we don't know that the thing getting locked is going to screw him out of that money. And, oh, calm down, everyone. It's not a big deal. It is here. Everything's fine. Staff. Yep, staff showed up to his... Live stream and all that. Can we technically call this his second sponsor stream since he wasn't supposed to get paid to play a certain game but didn't? <laughs> Seeing that apparently King Todd has been banned from Twitch for questionable card activity. Not sure if true. He leaves or so. Phil will be shitting himself. Ruh row. I love Scooby Doo. Phil is probably freaking out that he shouldn't have gotten a 70 inch 4K TV instead of the cheaper one he just gotten. Although that he should have. Yeah, because apparently he got like a 39 inch. Yeah, he, apparently he got a 39 inch one before he was playing on like a 50 inch. He was playing on like a 50 inch 1080p. Now he's playing on a 39 inch 4K. But when you get $1,800 like that, maybe he should have saved up his money to buy that 70 inch next Saturday. Which, oh yeah. Uh, I showed a picture last night. One of my fans posted on my Twitter. 
Turns out it's already been debunked. Alex Sedella did not give him the PS4 Pro. DSP still bought it. DSP used his own money on Saturday to buy the PS4 Pro. It was not donated. Tot was apparently banned by the Twitch staff. So as fraudulent charges for bits. The bits are now gone. I got the chair. Well, we don't know if he, the, he's going to get the bits or not. We don't know yet, unfortunately. But here's the thing. Let's say he doesn't get to keep the bits. He could just come out and say, Oh, guys, as it was a fraudulent expense, I don't get to keep the bits while still gaining to keep the bits. How are we supposed to know? There's no way for us to know. That's the case, but we won't be getting those bits since they caught so soon, which we don't know the yet. And he might be in trouble for saying he doesn't care about selling credit cards, but Twitch is protecting him like crazy, so... Even if he does get him, he could always say, Oh, guys, I didn't get the bits. But even if the, even with them catching it so quickly, we still don't know if he might get to keep them. He might not. We don't know. <laughs> Check, he's freaking, about, freaking out about him being banned and he disappeared. I still see his account, though, so who knows. He popped in to say the Zamasign account was locked. And now he's gone from the stream chat. I think Phil missed him, so he's been telling the chat to relax while they talk about how Tut may have been banned. So, yeah, it's like, okay, so he was banned, but he was still able to talk in his chat. What's going on? The entire time I'm watching this going on my Twitter, I'm like, something's something's off here. Something's going on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, none of his mods showed up at that night. Like, Swaggins didn't show up that night. He was probably still having a hissy fit about getting outbidded. Pro Wars Quest have been donated at least 5,000 a bit, snipped on farts, paper thin skin, cocked. <laughs> Terrible. Ooh, chat suggests maybe he got tut banned from his chat. Phil calls him assholes for suggesting it. Hmm. Why would he be so defensive and calling his chat assholes for saying, hey, maybe he banned him because he didn't want to get in trouble for it? <laughs> what if Phil's pig luck strikes again and it turns out the donation is real but even Twitch couldn't believe anyone was that dumb no one might happen hey DSP since this guy cheered we will honor the donation but we'll terminate the account don't worry DSP you get to keep the money which again maybe he'll get to keep the money maybe he won't but even if he does get to keep the money he would just come out and say I didn't get to keep the money please please Oh, he wouldn't have to get up off the couch to tell Cat to mail that shirt, which I'm sure is almost as big a bonus to him as the money. <laughs> Just, ah. Uh, this guy comes from out of nowhere. This has never been seen in chat before. Never said anything to DSP before. Comes from out of nowhere, drops $2,200 in bits. Immediately gets his Amazon account banned. The... Twitch staff shows up. Like, what the shit is going on here, people? Sorry about losing that 2,000 bits. That he's going to contact Twitch and ask what happened to the guy. It's pretty hypocritical that he says it's none of anyone's business when people ask why some people are banned in his chat. Now he needs to stick his nose in Twitch staff business. When money is on the line, he will seal it like a mouse finding cheese in a maze. Some things are more important than money. Real talk. Something Dave said before. Right before he dropped out of a, uh, who read? Someone read him, had him hundreds, if not thousands, of new fans, and he immediately ran away because his mods weren't able to keep up with banning everyone that said anything he didn't like. <laughs> Dude's name was the first thing out of his mouth at least four times between cutting videos. Banhama, banhama, terrible. And it's more him bitching about Street Fighter V. I've never seen him talk so much about a pay pig. Didn't even care about BSV that much, Brightside Viking. And barely mentioned Swaggins. This guy gave Phil more money in a day than Swaggins has ever. And without the weird power play that Swaggins has going on. Which, very true. Phil, in his green and nativity... Likely expected this guy to be a regular and give him thousands of dollars a day for the foreseeable future. Come back, I need your money. I mean support. Unfortunately, this guy got exactly what he wanted. I'm not blaming you guys. 
I mean, holy shit, he was giving a ridiculous amount of money that was definitely worth covering. But just imagine how stuffed for attention that guy must have been. Phil really does attract weird people. I need that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. <laughs> it was almost like he was excited for a second about it. <laughs> we don't need to see him excited. But yeah, it's just... This guy shows up from out of nowhere, drops $2,200... Immediately banned from his Amazon, but not from Twitch, which is, I think is weird. Like, his Amazon account gets banned, but not his Twitch. But they're connected because it's the same company. Huh. Again, it could just be that Amazon and or Twitch are just so stunned that there's no way anyone gave him. No. We got to look into this because there's no. No. There's no way someone gave him $2,200 from out of nowhere. Uh, I just, like. I really hope that this was credit card fraud or something. Like, please don't tell me someone is stupid enough to give him $2,200 like that. Obviously, he makes... Oh, God. I just thought of something. I've been meaning to do a video about how much he makes versus how much he spends. And he's averaging around $8,000 a month. He averages roughly $8,000 a month from what we can find. That doesn't count Teespring. That doesn't count money that's not shown. The it's like there's a bunch of stuff that he gets that isn't shown or known about. This is just the stuff that we know. This is just the stuff that we can see. This is just the stuff that we can go. He made this, this, and this add together. So going off of that, he makes roughly eight thousand dollars a month. But my God. Twenty two hundred. I got. I'm still just stunned about the twenty two hundred dollars, because that'll easily bump up to ten thousand this month. Oh wait, he made ten thousand in July. Oh wait, he made like fourteen or fifteen in last December. Oh wait, he made thirteen in January. Like, this guy makes so much fucking money. He might bump up to nine thousand dollars a month average, which obviously would be over a hundred thousand dollars a year, which is what he's been averaging past like six seven years is over a hundred thousand. But you got to compare that to his bills. Well, he has people, I don't know who did the math, but figured it out that's roughly $3,500 a month just in the mortgage on the uh, Patreon Palace and the condo. It's like, all right, well, if he makes $8,000 minus $3,500, well, now he's down to $4,500. Well, then he's got credit cards. This is the kind of guy, he, he makes bare minimum payments. You know he doesn't cover anything. He just makes bare minimum payments. So let's say he has four credit cards. Maybe two hundred dollars, but we'll round it up to five hundred just to make it even and get it down to four thousand. Well, now his car payment—that's probably three hundred a month. Uh, Food—that's probably gonna be another six hundred. So there's nine hundred off. Make make an even thousand, just get you down to three thousand. And then, of course, you have car insurance, you have tax attorney, you have taxes. Like, all in all, he makes roughly, after he pays all of his taxes, all of his bills, all of his food, whatever, he still has roughly twelve dollars to $15,000 left over. That's over $1,000 a month to spend on, I don't know, 4K TV and a PS4 Pro. But then he gets stuff like this of $2,200. Because, like, you know, $8,000 a month average... That's not enough. He needs to bump it up to nine thousand. He needs to bump it up to ten thousand. He needs to bump it up to fifteen thousand average a month. Which the way he's going, he might just fucking do it. Like, how does he find these people? Please, if you want to send twenty two hundred dollars to anyone, send it to me. I'll give you a gift copy of every single one of my books. Send that money to me, please. <laughs> uh, but what do you guys think? I mean, this is fucking nuts that he gets this much money in one go. $2,200 from one person. He didn't get many tips or bits or cheers from others, but... Oh, no, he only made $2,500 today. $2,200 from one person. $300 from everyone else. Oh, poor DSP. However, will he survive? All right, $2,200 from one guy. Do you think he's going to get to keep that money, or do you think Twitch is going to be like, yeah, you don't get to keep that. That's credit card fraud. But even worse, what if it turns out to be real? What if it wasn't credit card fraud? What if this was an actual donation? What if this was all real? And this guy gets unsuspended and comes back and gives him more money. 
Wow. Like I said, he could end up averaging 10,000 a month, which is be fucking crazy. So yeah, like I already said, guys, what do you think? Because as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.